What's up, guys? Welcome back to Comic Corner, where I, Christopher Waccaroni, <laughs> tell you about a couple of comics that I just read recently and uh, explain them, what happens in them, and, sh you know, show you a little bit of the comics. I received a couple of new comics from my sister, and I appreciate it very much. Shout out to my sister. Thank you so much. We're going to start with this bad boy right here. Avengers... Countdown. The only person I really recognize on this is Vision. I see Vision there. And also, uh, just because of some uh, some YouTube video that I watched, um, I, I think that's the Black Knight. I think that character's called the Black Knight. I do not recognize anybody else on this, but I was very excited to get it and read it. And immediately, I always got to see like cool advertisements. We got Mortal Kombat, the September 13th Mortal Monday, I guess when they finally brought Mortal Kombat to the uh, to the consoles and the handhelds and whatnot, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and we got Meteor Man <laughs> advertisement for that goofy ass movie, which uh, I don't remember super fondly, but I know that I've seen it. Starts out with uh, some weird light f coming down from from the sky and uh, in China and people running away but it, it the, the the light ends up being a big blast that that destroys them and it says the the vengeance of the Cree had begun so the Cree are going to be fucking with us up here we got Black Widow which I found out was her I couldn't really tell uh, Black Widow a couple of the characters I don't recognize I think that is Black Knight at the bottom there we got Vision and Captain America's kind of hanging out over there. They're trying to figure out a strategy. They know the, the Kree are going to... Uh, they're attacking and they're planning some big shit. Apparently the Shi'ar uh, Empire is, is getting in on this. And uh, fucking... Uh, this, this character's name is Death Cry. I guess she is part of the Shi'ar Empire. Which I only knew the sh of the Shi'ar because of like the old uh, Dark Phoenix X-Men stuff. I'm not real familiar with, like, the Kree and Shi'ar and, you know, the stuff that happens. But they know some shit's going down and they're, you know, they're planning out what they're going to do. They're going to triangulate where the attack is going to come from because the Kree are coming for them and shit. Another fun, goofy advertisement for some, uh, for Stridex, I guess. It's supposed to help with your pimples or something. Uh, where you worry about your, your pimples uh, with the X-Men comics if you got comics and you got pimples the Stridex is gonna fucking help ya this one Cree dude has like a super d destructive hammer thing that he uses to, and he blasts one of the Cree guys that's kinda like talking shit fucking <laughs> magical fucking hammer reminded me of uh, Ronan the Accusers hammer I wonder if it's if that had anything to do with it, but it's kind of like that. This part's kind of funny to me. This uh, the this, the the fucking death cry, uh, Shi'ar person is is like talking to the vision. <laughs> He's like, "You're you're very impolite," and she's like, "I do a lot of things impolitely, and if we get out of this okay, I'll show you." And <laughs> he's like, "Indeed." Like, I don't. Does that mean she fucks impolitely? Like <laughs> her and Vision are gonna are gonna get 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 into some fucking some hardcore impolite banging maybe we don't know. Vision's flying around and then a uh, weird Cree tractor beam thing takes him down just right out of the air. I still like the the little weird advertisement things are interesting. Look at this weird little card thing. It's like an X Men card thing. Just, just, just weird advertisements. You can win prizes. You send in some shit. Just fucking cut some shit out of your fucking comic and send it in. And they've got weird Terminator-looking dudes advertising some other shit. Cree dudes show up and start fucking with them. Skadoosh. I like that. I like that panel. I like the. I like the colors and the. I like the way they did that. And this, like, uh, Hercules guy? I, some form of Hercules guy? I don't know why he's there. It's like Space Hercules or some shit. They're talking about the Skrull also. So we got Shi'ar, Kree, and Skrull. 
They, they, they take down Hercules Man, and uh, that's pretty much the end of that one. I think it was, I mean, it's, it's kind of neat. There's still a, a bunch of pages of, like, ads and shit. That's a cool image. I like that. I still don't remember who that chick is. We got Captain America, Black Widow, Vision, Black Knight, Hercules Man, and uh, a couple other people. We got Gatherers advertisement thing. That that thing up there looks like uh, that looks like Vision without his colors. I don't know if that's what that is. Everybody's got weird fucking monster eyes. And then just more artwork at the end. We got a cool Black Panther thing and uh, whatever the fuck that is thing. Ooh, I like this one. Got a cool Colossus thing. We got Captain America like jumping down over here. Colossus and I don't know, maybe that's the Hercules dude again. At the bottom you got Wolverine getting fucked some <laughs> for some reason. Like, I don't know what's going on there, but that looks pretty cool. And that's the end of that one. Uh, it was pretty much what I expected, it just sort of an in-between story, you know, there, there's a weird storyline going on with, you know, the Kree attacking and whatever, and, uh, I don't know, it was, it was kind of fun, the artwork was cool, uh, yeah, it is neat, had little, little ins and outs, little fun little tidbits and whatnot, got the vision, got weird space Hercules man and whatever, yeah, it was alright, it's pretty cool. By the way, I don't go super in-depth into the comics for, uh, for, for these, I, I mainly just giving you the a quick overview of, of kind of what happens and kind of how I feel about, you know, the story and the and the artwork and things like that. I'm not going to get, you know, I'm not going to I'm not going to pick it all apart, you know, super in depth. Cuz I mean, it's so complicated. These comic stories are fucking nonsense. Silver Surfer, which is cool. I don't even I don't know if I own any other Silver Surfer comics. It says Death to the Emperor. He has a very unnatural big smile. That, that seems out of place for a Silver Surfer. Usually he's more stoic. We got weird dude down here with, like, weird pointy face. I, like, I, I don't know what that means. So it starts with weird pointy face, Emperor Man or whatever. And he's like, he, he, he talks like, he talks like he doesn't, like, you guys don't, don't fucking know what's good for you. That's why, that's why I'm here to do it for you. You, you, you peoples need to, need to pay attention to what the fuck I'm doing. He says, starting now, all of you is going to be paying double taxes. I guess this story is called The Fool on the Throne. And uh, the angry Cree people? More more Cree people, maybe? They're, they're pissed off that this guy is uh, representing them or whatever. They're setting up a plan so they can, like, take him out because, like, he's a, he's a bad representative or, like, that'll be a good political move for them to take out this guy and be in charge or whatever. Got a, a nice Battle Toads advertisement, of course. It's also really fucked up because they're like talking shit on Ninja Turtles compared to Battle Toads. N turtles seem like spawn scum. <laughs> like, hey man, can't can't we like both? Silver Surfer shows up, looking shiny, looking cool. One of the Cree guys in the room is kind of a naysayer, so the fucking main dude just goes pachoo, fucking takes him out. And the, the weird emperor pointy face dude, his, his name seems to be Foul Up. Kind of an on-the-nose name, I guess. If you're a Foul Up, your name is Foul Up. Whatever. Anyway, they, they get uh, Silver Surfer on board to carry out the plan to, to, to take out, you know, the emperor Foul Up person. And, and Silver Surfer has no problem with carrying out the mission that they want to do. And we're back talking to emperor Foul Up d d douchebag guy. And he's like, God, ah, don't you worry. Me, me subjects love me. Let, let me let me get them subjects. They they love when I do's use like I use do's. I ain't got all day. Let's get this show on the road. Silver Surfer's coming in. Fucking explodes the door. Fucking melting people's shit. Skadoosh! The cosmic energy of fucking Norinrad. Looks pretty cool. I don't know a whole lot about Silver Surfer, but I do think he's a pretty interesting character. Looks cool. He's got cosmic powers and whatnot. Fucking grabs the this dude and just fucking melts his whole existence. Just just burns the shit out of him with fucking star power. I was getting a little bit suspicious because Silver Surfer doesn't seem to be the type to like take on jobs where he's just gonna like just flat out be a mercenary and kill people 
and, and seem to enjoy it. That that doesn't seem like in his character. Fucking just sticks his hand in the dude's face and just talk to the hand. Just fucking, just fucking space energy. Just fucking melting people. Terminator advertisement thingy. Kree guys show up and Silver Surfer's kind of talking shit. He's like, run back to your mothers, you little bitches. And they're like, the war starts here, motherfucker. And they start fucking shooting at him. Taste the fury of the Kree. They like blast Silver Surfer away and just leave nothing but his legs. Just kind of sitting there smoking. And they, like, pick up the pieces of him and fucking wheel him out of there. And I was like, yeah, there's something fishy about this. That's, uh, you, you don't take out Silver Surfer with, with some some pew-pew guns. And then they go see some doctor dude. Apparently he was the one that, that uh, created, built, or, uh, you know, somehow created the uh, Silver Surfer robot or clone or whatever. It wasn't really him and, you know... Uh, I, I could tell because that's that's not usually how Sil Silver Surfer would behave. And then they walk out of there. They blow the hell out of the place, and they're fucking out. And uh, and uh, that's pretty much what happens. We got a Hulk. We got gray gray Hulk advertisement thing, Punisher advertisement thing, and advertisement for Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. And, uh, I mean, this, this, uh, it was okay also. I mean, yeah, it was okay. So we got to see some cool Silver Surfer, you know, shooting his powers around, fucking blasting, melting people's faces and shit. That's pretty cool. Artwork was really good. More about the Scree, uh, I said Scree, the, the, the Kree and the scrolls and whatever they're trying to do. So yeah, anyway, that was kind of cool. It's always it's always neat to see like what kind of powers Silver Surfer will actually use in these cuz I mean, I don't know, like I said I don't really know that much about the character. So uh, it's kind of neat to see him, you know, every now and then flying around on his board and melting faces. So that was it. A uh, couple of fun uh, reasonably fun comics. Uh thank you again to my sister Appreciate it. I, I love getting new comics. I love reading comics, and hopefully you guys appreciate some of that stuff, too. Um, so, yeah. There you go. Well, another successful comic corner, where I'm in a corner talking about comics, and uh, <laughs> I'll uh, catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.